Okay, we're going to go ahead and open this drive. Um, I'm not under the flow hood. I'm not under uh, anything that's protected. I'm not even wearing gloves with this because I can already guarantee you that this drive is unrecoverable and I'm going to show you why I believe that to be the case. Um, make sure I'm the right Phillips screwdriver. This is one of those few drives that some brands actually use a Phillips head uh, screw on them and most of them run and use uh, Torx screws, T-O-R-X. So if you're ever adventurous and looking to open up a hard drive of your own yourself just to mess around with, you're generally going to want to get a Torx 6 on most laptops, maybe a 5, um, most small two and a half inch drives. Um, so a Torx five or six for those. In this case here it's a Phillips head screwdriver. Um, and you'll probably want to get for three and a half inch drives um, generally an eight is what's needed. So you can see this drive has not been opened yet. And it's like I'm psychic. I can almost tell you right off the bat that this drive is not recoverable. I haven't powered it up. I have not done anything at all. But I'm going to show you why I believe this to be unrecoverable. And let's see, pry this open. Some of these are really sealed up good. I just barely have to pry along the edge. All right, let's see if I'm right. If I'm not, being awfully risky with this, but again, I'm 100% sure I'm right. And I am. Check that out. This is the platter. Let's zoom in on this a little bit. It is made up of glass and the glass shattered and there's absolutely no way to recover that um, what happened was this came out of a MacBook and it was uh, dropped or thrown I'm not sure what it sounded like there was um, a disgruntled employee I think from this company that might have taken this laptop and just smashed it around a few places. Now we have done some laptop recoveries on a couple laptops that were absolutely obliterated. Uh, in fact the worst ones we did were actually two laptops that came out of a car that was impacted and it was a multi-car accident and somehow the bag that the laptops were in got wedged. There was two laptops and two different bags and both bags somehow in the interim you know, between the impact and when the vehicles came to a stop it got wedged behind the vehicle that they were in originally and the semi that impacted them in the back and it completely crushed them. Those were able to be recovered because um, the platters were still intact and they were in good shape. This one unfortunately is not going to be recoverable. Um, even the bottom platter I can see where it's got some cracks in it. This top one here I mean I don't know. You know, there's a lot of things I question about hard drives and the way that they're manufactured, and I understand that they've worked and, and have been um, functional for years and years, and there's little things that will sometimes make me question why they're done. 
and glass platters are certainly at the top of this list. Um, but yeah, this is what happens sometimes. There's nothing you can do with a situation like this at all. So, this one is unrecoverable. And the reason I knew that is because, I'll put the case cover back on, when I went and pulled the drive and I tipped it, I heard that. And I was like, well, that's not good. And a little shake, and it sounds like a maraca in there. You know you got problems. So, anyway, um, this one is not recoverable. However, there are a lot of drives that are sent into us that are recoverable. And you can visit our website at acsdata.com for more information about those. You can also check out some of our other videos that we uh, highlight where the data is recoverable on them. And some of the issues that we run into some cases and things like that. Um, not every case is cut and dry, um, but every now and then we get a weird, you know, situation like this, and I like to share it. So um, we have some other recoveries that we're going to be posted pretty soon. And um, but right now, this morning, I just wanted to do a quick shot of this and show you um, what the deal was here. So again, you can visit our website at acsdata.com. You can give us a call one eight hundred seven one seven eight nine seven four. We'll be happy to talk to you about your case. Uh, if you have any questions at all, you can also feel free to post them in the comments and be happy to answer those as well. Alrighty, thanks. Take care. Have a great day.